Hello guys, welcome back to another match of Dawn of War, and today we are doing another three, uh, sorry, 1v1 Space Marine versus Space Marine. Similar standard build, um, one in the, um, one in the Stronghold and one in the Drop Pod. Uh, I'm just quickly going to swap it over to follow camera. We are versing a guy called Captain Isano. Um, and yeah, we finally have a proper save replay feature in the game, guys. Thank you, Relic. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we're heading out to the first point, and we're also going to head out to the furthest, no, the closest point, I believe. Yeah. Is that what we're doing? I think we are. Yep, so we've also got our second TAC Marine squad out. Excuse my dog barking in the background, I don't know why it's barking. Um, yeah, so we captured the first point. I do try and save it so that I can get the strategic point instead of the elite point first. That's what I'm aiming for. I'm also aiming to get, um, yeah, three squads of TAC Marines instead of having, um, a building out first. Because I just feel like that little bit of an early advantage with an extra squad is definitely a lot more useful. So I believe I rally them out to, um... The farthest point, which is up here. I don't know if you can see the mouse, but um, yeah, I've rallied them to that far point um, closer to his base, just under his base, so that I can try and capture that one. And I believe he's going for his side of the map for all of them as well. So I end up sending, I'm sending another squad over to try and capture the point just above my base, see if I can capture that one. But he does already have um, a builder there, and he's aiming for that instead. Or he's aiming, sorry, to keep that one alive instead. So I send my TAC Marines out there, see what I can scout. I'm also sending, yeah, well I send these guys just here for now, but I am going to send them further up, like we so. Post now. And yeah, I'm sorry guys, these games are quite slow. Um, oh, actually I might. Yeah, I'm going to speed it up a bit. So yeah, his builder's there, already building the turret, so I need to take that builder out before it can finish. He does have two squads there, so I need to um, back out because I cannot take on two squads alone. I'm building the arsenal as well, as you just quickly saw. Sending the other squads back down to try and help out the first guys because I am aiming to take out that left strategic point. That is my goal for this first bit of the match, is to take it out and have an extra bit of an advantage. So yeah, at the moment we both have four strategic points. Um, I'm upgrading little bits on some of them, but not all, because I am trying to keep enough re requisition power for units. I send out that um, drop pod squad. I decided to send it out there instead of sending it um, on top of his units because I don't know what's going to be there. So I send a standard. I end up bringing out my first um, elite squad, the Death, um, Death Watch team, and I'm going to take out um, all of his squads, but I need to be careful of that turret as well, because it does overpower me, so I need to stay back. I also managed to capture his standard as well. Um, I don't think he really knew what he was doing with that standard there, so I ended up taking that and getting the extra shield. So thank you to him. So I take out those units. The turret is actually going to overpower me, so I won't be able to take it out. He also sends in another squad and his first elite. I believe that is his librarian. Yeah, Jonah. So yeah, I need to back out real quick because I can't take him out. And he does unfortunately end up taking up that shield and keeping my Death Watch team in there. So yeah, I can't do anything about that. I have to back out and I need to take my builder with me. And I had the builder up there because I was intending on winning that point and um, instantly building a turret on it. But that didn't work, so I'm going to build a um, Doctrine Chapel. And I'm going to reinforce my units from that. Wait for the Death Watch team. Chapel at the ready. And I should probably mention as well, guys. Um, in this match, the, well, the reason I've posted this match instead of the Elites and Doctorines as I was planning to is because I didn't stupidly anticipate um, that all of them would be locked to begin with. So that video will have to wait a little while, unfortunately. Alright, so we've got a couple more TAC Marine squads. We're going to upgrade them with plasmas as well, I believe. We've completed a power generator. Am I going to do that? 
Maybe not. I'm not sure, guys. So yeah, we are going to try and push it again to see what we can do, but we don't unfortunately have enough there to be able to do it. And we also don't anticipate that he's going to have turrets up on the balcony. Sorry, I just waited for that one. So I have to pull back again, and I did lose units already. So I can't do anything about it. I bring out the Death Watch team. And we head back to my Doctoring Chapel to reinforce in a second. I'm just taking a second to do it. Ah, oh, I was upgrading the machine launcher, or rocket launcher, for the Death Watch team. Because that is going to be extremely helpful. So the standard is back, and I have... I don't have enough units to take on just yet. But I am just waiting for extra reinforcements and requisition, so I end up putting TAC Marines in a drop pod. And I believe... No, I'm not waiting for my heavy bolters just yet. I'm just waiting for that. Um, the drop pod and the elite. We've escalated to the second phase of war. I believe I only have a few more seconds before that elite's ready. Will you call forth our there it is. Warriors, um, I've also, I don't know if I've done it yet, but I've also put a few upgrades in the arsenal um, to get the extra damage and the extra health. So I would strongly recommend putting those in as well, early game. Just make sure that you have yeah enough requisition to have enough units to fight. So we jump on in there, he drops his elite and his second now. And yeah, we do end up overpowering his basic units just there. He'd also also have the terminators, oh not the terminators, the elites there. I mean the uh, what are they called? The devastators. He has them there. So yeah, I end up dropping my elite as well and leaving him with my elite and the standard to fight each other out. And because I have the standard there, I have an extra shield, so he ends up losing that battle. He drops his um, elite unit, no, his, I'm going to get so annoyed with that. His devastator is on top of me, so I didn't drop my attack marines on top of him. I end up winning that battle with the elite there, and I end up having enough units there to overpower him with everything that I have. But I'm also trying to keep an eye on all of my units and their health because if I end up not having enough there to fight into this, I need to pull right back immediately. Okay, so he does bring in some assault marines, but they just don't have enough um, DPS to out um, out bully me, I guess. So I end up just taking that point, um, taking out his units, taking out that building, and just pretty much overpowering him. So yeah, there's sort of a little bit of a comeback here because I wasn't able to take out that first point and so I end up deciding, well I wonder if I can take out that other point because he may just be caught off guard. Sure enough he was. Um, I dropped my Devastators as well that just happened to overpower everything and yeah, basically at this point I've won this little squabble. I'm going to win it and he ends up calling the GG there but he does keep playing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep on attacking and take the extra points because yeah, at this point he has lost. So yeah, I take out the turret, I have enough units there to keep going. Um, he does send in scouts there, and I just overpower them instantly. Take out the turret. I have the listening post, I also take out this one. And I chuck my servitor down there to put the... Um, the strategic point on it. Still bringing out more sh um, more TAC Marine units just in case he does try to make a comeback from here. But unfortunately he cannot at this point just yet. So he would either have to play very, very defensive and try and keep in his base to ma mass an army to overpower me. But he just doesn't have quite enough and he calls GG and leaves. Or well, here it's called GG but still leaves the game. So yeah, um, what I would have learnt from this match is... Um, yeah, elite placement is very helpful, but also if you cannot take out one strategic point, try and trick them and take out another. Because, yeah, at this point he had no units anywhere else on the map. He had them only on, if you can see the mouse, he had them on the bottom point, and he had them on the one that I'm sitting on now. So he still had... I can't play it back now. Maybe I can go... No, I can't go back. Um... But yeah, he didn't have any units on his back two points. So if I could have snuck around even further to the back, 
I could potentially have taken one of his backline points as well. But yeah, I ended up winning this little skirmish. It was fun. It was not, I wouldn't say easy whatsoever because it wasn't, but it was just a matter of placement. And yeah, um, luckily enough, I had my standard ready as well to drop with my, um, with my chaplain and it just managed to overpower him. So yeah. That's pretty much it guys. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. And I don't really say this at all, but follow me on Twitter. I don't really post a lot on there, but it's pretty much the first place to go if you want to um if you want to see my videos instantly. It should oh, I don't think it notifies you actually. Maybe it doesn't. But yeah, follow me on Twitter anyway, and I shall see you guys next time.